So for today's video, I'm actually gonna be working on upgrading my digital art studio that I have here in my house. As many of you guys may or may not know, I'm an artist. I have a graphic design company with my dad as well as the art business with my boyfriend. And today I will be showing you guys what I have. Sure, I have a laptop, but I've been wanting to upgrade and I think right now was the perfect time because my birthday just passed. I might as well just treat myself. So as of right now, this is what I have for my digital art. The Microsoft Surface Pro, the 2018 model, and this is it. I guess the competitor would be the iPad, but the thing is that it's not an actual computer. You can't actually download softwares. If you need to do, if you need to do a little more professional things, I would recommend the Surface Pro instead of the iPad because the iPad can only do, what is it, Procreate and much simpler things like that. And if you're trying to go more professional, which is something that I really try to focus on. In this one, I use Corel Draw. <laughs> Sorry. I have Adobe Illustrator. I use um, Sketchbook, which I is the, I guess the, the equivalent equivalent of um, Procreate. With that being said, I've had this bad boy since 2018 when it came out. So that's 2018. It's gonna be three years. I have been working on my laptop as well as my dad's office, which has the actual desktop computer. Like I said, my birthday just passed, so I really wanted to invest and have my own personal computer, and I really wanted to get a Wacom. And I was looking into it, I was like, which one, which one should I get? I'm not trying to go too big, like huge. So I settled on, not settled, so I decided to get a Wacom Cintiq 16. And it's not here yet, but I'll show you guys whenever I get it. I have everything else here besides the Wacom, and I just wanted to show you guys what I do have. I've been really inspired by the TikTok trend going on with gamer setups, and I was like, yes. So I'm in the process of upgrading my my setup, but I'm not a gamer, but I can still have a really cute aesthetic setup. But like I said, I'm balling on a budget and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. <laughs> so let me start off with like the, the boringest part and it's this little rack right here. I looked up tablet stands and I searched from lowest to highest price and I went through the lowest I could find and this is it. This is one of the very lowest. And I feel like it's it's very efficient for what it's what it's supposed to do. So it has like the little, little slots here that you can adjust it how low you want your tablet, or in my case, my Wacom to be placed. And it has a little tab here so that it doesn't slide off. The Wacom that I got is the 16 inch. It's going to be much bigger in proportion to this. I do not know how well it will fit on it. And you have it there. It's ugly, but it's very lightweight. So I got it. <laughs> the gamer community really has like the all pink pastels. So I was like, I want to get purple, pastel purple. I could not find any of the tech that was actually purple. So I was like, fine, I'll just spray paint it. I've seen a few videos. I think I can do it. I'll spray paint it. So I got two bottles of the satin and French lilac. This is the color. I got two of these and I'm going to spray paint my things. So this is one of the things that I'm going to spray paint. Although you're not going to be able to see it when I'm using it. I just want it to be matching with my things. The next thing that I did get, this is like from the children's section of Amazon. I got a little desk lamp. I already have one, but it's kind of ugly. And the cool thing about this, the base is actually a little kitty. He's like sleeping. On the inside, you can put like your pens and you turn on with a little boop on the nose. You see that? I just booped its nose and it's super bright. I might spray paint this. I'm gonna see this one. I don't really know yet. This computer mat, the purple. It's not an exact match. This is more bluish. This is more like pinkish purple. This is the mat, basic Barney purple kind of boring. One of the things that I'm really excited for is this desktop stand. And I wasn't looking for anything specific on Amazon until I went to like cheapest and I put lowest to highest price. And that's when I found this cutie. Oh my God. Let me just show you guys. Look how adorable this is. So this is obviously for your desk. 
it's an organizer. And up here is where I hope to put my monitor. I'm saying hope because I have not unboxed it yet. I don't know how big the base is. We'll see in a minute. <laughs> my spray paint at Papal. I think it came in pink and white, and I chose the white one just so I can spray paint it purple. This is also from Amazon. I got this um, wireless keyboard and mouse set. It's the Ubody, Ubody. And let me just show you what it came with besides the actual items that I ordered. So it came with a little synthetic brush. Um, you can just use it to brush off your keys. And this, I was so surprised it came with this. And it has like a little flower thing and I was like, what is this? It came in two pieces. And then I put them together like that and it lays like this. And I was like, wait a minute, is this what I think it is? It's a phone stand. I'll show you my mouse first. Um, it's this little chubby little thing. It is so chubby and it just fits so well. And let me show you my keyboard. This is it. It's multicolored. It's so cute. Let me show you what it just sounds like real quick. I also got this little guy. And I was expecting him to be much larger, kind of like a little pillow. I wanted to have a pillow for my back when I'm drawing. You know, just some support. He still does the job, but I feel like he would have been cuter if he was bigger. Kind of like those paw seats that you see in Pinterest and on TikTok with the gamer girls. And I got the loaf of bread, but I didn't think he was going to be this small. The 27 inch monitor, it's from Samsung. Let's see if the base fits right here on the thing of the Moment of truth. It sticks a little bit out, but that's nothing to worry about. So let's go spray paint the little accessories that I showed you. And I'll show you guys the end product whenever I have the end product. came in and so are my my other little thing majiggy so let me just show you guys what i got da -da -li -da -da -li -da. Mm. stay safe children very exciting it's like christmas oh <laughs> yay let me 
start off with, uh, I guess, the audio. So my PC doesn't have that much, that well of audio. So I got some little ball thingy majiggies. You put them on either side of the computer and you have better audio. But they look like Pokeballs. Look how cute, they're small and compact. So there's that. My cat is playing with the bubble wrap. Also regarding the audio, I wanted to get some headphones because I don't have any headphones and I don't want anything fancy. I just wanna have something that I can listen to if I'm trying to get in the zone. So I just got these regular, regular, all purple headphones. Ooh, oh my God. It comes with a little hand sanitizer, how cute. Look, it looks like Alejandro. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute. <gasps> Yay! They do have to be plugged in. They're not Bluetooth, but I'm only using them to be here in my computer. And they're really good at noise canceling. I can barely hear myself. What is this, you might say? So like I said, I've been really inspired by the, uh, the Gamer Girl aesthetic. And instead of buying those really expensive kitten ear headphones, I bought some kitten ears for the headphones that can attach them and they're not I mean they're all different shades of purple who cares I don't care you just wrap them around the actual base of your headphones and you flip clip it in here <laughs> why do they <laughs> oh okay so yeah that makes sense because when you open it it comes out here so look at that <gasps> the thing that I'm most excited for from this box is the next thing so I really did some hard research and I finally found the, the, the guy that I was wanting to get. <laughs> well, let me show you guys, there's a hair inside of this. I can see the hair. <laughs> oh my God! Yes! Okay, they say that you have to like fluff him up. Buddy, now I have two of them. I have one for my desk and one for my chair. All right, guys, it's time to unbox my Wacom. <laughs> try to be careful. I don't want to. My cat's gonna help me open it. Bye-bye. Can't believe I got one. I am so happy. Let's try it. Oh! So let's open this thing. This is the cord. All right, let's open this. Can you excuse me? up real quick and then we'll turn it on together it says to turn it on <gasps> Starting up. I think <gasps> I got it okay oh my god yes look at this guys oh my god so I have my monitor and then I have my wax Okay, good. Let's try uh, 
sketchbook simply because I do not want to do Corel. Why does that say Alex Love? <laughs> Let's do some erasing. Oh, look at that. Whoa, it feels like paper and it does not it does not detect my finger, which is really good because my Surface Pro detected my fingers and it was very annoying. All right, you guys, so this is my setup at the moment. I have everything now, everything arrived from Amazon. My desk is really small. I want it to be longer so this is not too cluttered. There is the monitor. Below that, I have this little fake rose that my mom gave me for my quinceanera back in the Dizay. It's the base of the monitor, and then there's the wooden piece that I got that was white, and I spray painted it. This is where I put my vitamins, and I can't get them out. Vitamins, 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 vitamins. I have not taken them. <laughs> Let's put them back. I should take them. Some glasses that block out the blue, blue light from computers and things. Look, let me show you guys. I think it'll show on the lens without the glasses with the blue light. It's not a big difference, but it makes it so that the, hi, Tarito, so that you don't strain your eyes as much when you're working on the computer. And then on this side, I have my lamp. Initially, I thought you just turn it on and off right here and it moves, it swivels around, whatever, whatever. But, but, I accidentally touched the ear the other day. And let me just show you guys what happens when I touch the ear. Boop. <gasps> There's other light settings. So it's three tones. Like a ring light type of light, very blue light. It's like a indoor light and then a very warm light. And the cool thing about this is the other ear, and it tones, it has little settings to it. I already showed you guys this. This came with the keyboard. And then I also have, I love SpongeBob, so I got this little SpongeBob house with the little reef thingy-majiggies. I have my keyboard right here on this side because I have my Wacom. Hello, sir. Right now I have my Wacom on the little tablet thing. It works really, really well. It, scratches so easily. I, sh I didn't set it. It doesn't matter. Works perfect. Um, I have my keyboard on this side I and then I had headphones there. I put cat ears on them. Right here I have some speakers. They're pink. They don't really match but they kind of do so I'm gonna leave it like that. I have my diploma here. Like, I actually graduated in 2017 and I'm barely now framing it. A cool thing that I did is I framed it and then I'm placing it on a little canvas stand because it kind of plays along with the idea of being an artist. And so I have that there for now. I know it's kind of cluttered, but that's how it's gonna be for now. And then I have my cute little toast here, but I actually found the big one on Amazon. And here he is. He's so big and so cute. Look. Anyway, so yeah, that is uh, the studio, the studio. This is my setup. All right, that was it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.